it's a party, it's a party, it's a party. I think this is a movie too, right? You hold the boombox above your head, like, like this, right? That, that's a movie, right? I don't know. Let's talk after party, CrossFit Oakland. So today, we have a great after party. It's all about building your handstand. So I got my sweet flow chart here, and we're gonna talk about it. So it's a 15 minute piece. From zero to seven minutes, you're gonna do a fun little ladder of pike push-ups and high hips bear curls. So we'll talk about how those mechanically build into the handstand and an easy way you can do those around your house. Then you're gonna play with a handstand in some form or fashion for seven minutes. There's a lot of options there, all right? So first we'll talk about the ladder. So first is a pike push-up. So we all know a regular push-up here, down, push back up. Now when we do a pike push-up, we're looking to get inverted and get our head or kind of top of the head forehead touch the ground. So if I flip my hat around here, I bridge my feet out wide, I'm gonna take my head down in between my hands in this nice tripod position. So you should be able to push up and back like that. Now, big goal would be get way up high, touch down, push up. Again, the tighter my hamstrings are, the more challenging this is gonna be. But I'm also building that strength as I go. So that is our pike push up. Now, we have 30 feet of high hips bear crawl or straight leg bear crawls. So I wanna simulate that same position. So I'm really high up on my toes, my hips are real high in the air, and I'm walking on my hands, kind of crawling around. Again, walking on my hands, crawling around, just like so. That's kind of the picture you wanna bring in that seven minute ladder. Crawling, pushing, crawling, pushing, or excuse me, pushing and crawling, but same thing supply there. Adding reps as we go, getting stronger every single time. Now, let's talk handstands. We wanna think that nice, upright body posture and alignment there. Lots of objects, you can do it up against the wall, up against a car, all sorts of things. You can do a free range. But also don't forget to just play with stuff on your hands. Spend time just down on the ground, balancing on your hands, getting your head down low, balancing up and down, playing with crow pose, playing with things like that playing around with just hands on the ground to balance and move over. You can even play with planks. Where you're here, gonna take one hand off, gonna take the other hand off. Can I tap my shoulders back and forth? Can I walk with my feet together? All sorts of stuff like that can build to the handstand. Instead of just coming over here and kicking up time and time again, squeezing our buns, like so, kicking up and falling, kicking up and falling, spend some actual practice time here. Otherwise, you're gonna miss out on all the fun in the handstand work and not actually get better at it. But if you wanna spend time kicking up, find that soft surface, kick up, hold, hang out there. Otherwise, have a good time. Get better at handstands today, gang, and we'll see you soon.